Filipino is seeking to revolutionize the fight against cancer through artificial intelligence and save 20 million lives a year. Joining us tonight from San Francisco to tell us more about his vision is Aldo Carroscoso. Aldo, thank you so much for joining us on The Final Word. You want to revolutionize the fight against cancer through artificial intelligence. How are you doing it? First of all, thanks for having me, Rico. So we basically, um, the basic bi uh, biology of Interven is uh, we're interrogating this layer of uh, um, omics called glycoproteomics. Mm -hmm. So essentially, it's these um, glycans or sugar structures that attach themselves to a bunch of different molecules. Like, for example, they attach themselves to proteins, they attach themselves to fats, and they attach themselves to RNA. And what happens, you know, these uh, post-translational modifications, essentially, they tend to modify and track with disease. For example, um, with more of these glycoproteomic uh, signatures found on certain proteins, mm -hmm. you can actually see them track with the progression of certain cancers. And these glycans, as you, as you refer to it, essentially, right. um, they're very distinct. And mm -hmm. sometimes the distinct glycans have very distinct identifications for different diseases, so Aldo, not just in cancer, but even in autoimmune diseases. So Aldo, in which phase of research and development are you in right now? Um, we're actually already offering the, te the test in the United States. Uh -huh. So um, we are a regulated entity. Um, but that doesn't mean we stop doing any of the research and development activities. Um, in fact, we, ha we are in the process of almost uh, completing a global clinical trial um, from the United States, Australia, in Malaysia, and even in the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Actually, we have three sites where we are enrolling in, in the country. And I believe we just completed that process in Southeast Asia a month ago. So we have six or seven more whether it's a clinical diagnostic, an early uh -huh. detection system, or a treatment uh, monitoring uh, test. Uh, we have several products already um, bucketed for the next 12 months. So Aldo, um, what have the results shown uh, in these global uh, clinical trials that uh, you've already started? And how soon will this be available for use in hospitals and by scientists and doctors? So, um, Interven, basically, you know, we made um, history when we created the world's first glycoproteomic powered laboratory diagnostic test. Mm -hmm. So that's that's a huge thing. Now, um, before this, the reason why we use artificial intelligence, Rico, is when you, you know, let's let's just compare it to genes or genomics. There are over twenty thousand um, um, genes, right? When you're looking at glycoproteomics, there are over 10 to the 15 quadrillion, quadrillion different type of glycoproteins. So no tool, whether it's advanced statistical tools, could handle that. And that's exactly what my two co-founders were, um, were working on. So we applied artificial intelligence and what used to take 12 months now takes you know 12 minutes. And mm -hmm. most of the time, it actually takes 12 seconds to run these tests. Um, so, you know, we're actually, you know, we're actually very, very proud of this and, um, we are, you know, we are targeting a few product launches over the next 12 months. Uh, we actually have our two main products right now, one, which is available in the clinic in the United States. It's called the, um, the glory test for ovarian cancer. So it's for women that present with an ambiguous pelvic mass. Um, and we are able to determine whether or not it's cancerous or non-cancerous. Everyone is um, awaiting uh, this technology, Aldo, because uh, your assumptions are that you will save 20 million lives a year with this breakthrough cancer diagnostic test. When you're looking at all of their other indications, whether that's for colorectal cancer, immunotherapy treatment selection, breast cancer, which, by the way, uh, my family has a very strong history. My mother succumbed to it in 93, um, and a few cousins of mine. Um, when you add up all of the different indications that we can actually address over, you know, over, of course, global prevalence, uh, it is literally 20 million a year. And you are being dubbed the Elon Musk of the Philippines. What does it feel like? And how do you apply uh, Elon Musk's mindset 
in your field of work? Honestly, that is, I'm very uncomfortable and I'm still <laughs> trying to figure out who said that. <laughs> I can give them a call. Um, but, you know, I think I follow uh, purposeful thinking. So the reason why, you know, I jumped from digital media to blockchain um, and from, you know, B2B matchmaking to literally biotech was the, you know, the draw of the purpose of everything I've done, essentially. So, you know, whenever, you know, we we recruit folks, like, for example, we have uh, a few Nobel laureates mm. in our advisory board and people ask me how you recruit folks like that it's purpose so i do things you know i do anything actually with a very very strong purpose the second one is first principle thinking um the problem with glycoproteomics um what's interesting about it is it's a science that we did not invent i just want to be clear rico mm. no glycoproteomics mm. has been hiding in plain sight mm. for over 130 years we did not invent the science what we did invent though are the tools, the AI and machine learning mm -hmm, tools to mm -hmm. interrogate them in a scalable manner. So that's when you apply first principle thinking and thinking, uh, you know, why hasn't you know a glycoproteomic test mm -hmm. or much of the therapeutic reached the bedside? It's because it's clinically impossible to interrogate mm -hmm. the glycoproteome in a scalable, quality assurance, clinically and regulate, you know, right. uh, with regulatory oversight revolutionizing the fight against the big C. Thank you so much for joining us. Aldo Carascoso, the CEO of Interven Biosciences, joining us from San Francisco.